Hello guys and welcome back to another video from my YouTube channel that is Vipin Sharma Biology Tutorials and today we are reading about a trick to memorize the electromagnetic spectra. So the trick is cause that's simply the abbreviation of because. So some things are happened in our country at previous times which are because Gandhi and Ziyang which are two political leaders Gandhi is an Indian leader as well as Ziyang is a you know Chinese leader. So cause Gandhi Ziyang ultimately visualized Indian Maowadi rebels. So the Maowadi rebels that are happening in India, these are ultimately visualized by Gandhi and Jiang. So let's memorize the trick one or two times more. Cause Gandhi Jiang ultimately visualize Indian Maowadi rebels. Again, cause Gandhi Jiang ultimately visualize Indian Maowadi rebels. Now what does the particular trick means? Here cause simply means cosmic rays, Gandhi means gamma rays, Jiang means X rays, ultimately means UV rays, visualized means visible rays, Indian means IR rays, Mawadi means microwaves, and rebels mean radio waves. So, cause Gandhi Jiang ultimately visualize Indian Mawadi rebels simply means cosmic, gamma, X rays, UV, visible, IR, micro, and radio waves now when we are standing in a particular line for example in school assembly then we are you know standing in increasing order of height the smallest one in the first position then the larger one then in this particular order so as in a particular assembly line we are you know standing in a order of increasing length so in this particular series, these waves are in increasing wavelength. You can memorize this by this particular trick that in morning assembly we are you know standing in a particular manner that is in increasing order of length. So all these waves are arranged in the increasing order of wavelength in this particular series. Wavelength is represented by a sign that is lambda. So what is the order in increasing wavelength? Cause Gandhi Jiang ultimately visualized Indian Mawadi rebels. And we know that these particular things that is the wavelength and frequency are inversely proportional to each other. That is when wavelength increases, frequency decreases. So if this particular series is in the increasing order of wavelength, then in this particular direction, the frequency is decreasing and we know that the energy is directly proportional to frequency then in this particular direction since the frequency is decreasing so in this particular direction energy is also decreasing now there are asked some kind of uh, you know numerical problems from this particular topic so there are some formulas to do these questions so what are those formulas e is equal to h nu Energy is related to frequency by this particular formula E is equal to H nu where H is a constant. We can also derive it as we know that energy is directly proportional to the frequency as we have learned just about this. Okay. Since energy and frequency are directly proportional to each other then to remove this, that proportional sign we have used a constant that is H. This particular constant is known as the Planck's constant and it has a constant value that is 6.626 into 10 raised to power minus 34 joule per second. So whenever you have given energy as well as frequency or whenever you have given one of them you can find the other one by using this simple relation and when you are given frequency then you can find other things too. For example E is equal to H nu. We know very well that E is equal to H nu and we also know that nu is equal to C by lambda. From where this particular statement is derived or this particular equation is derived, C that is the velocity of light that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second is equal to lambda into mu that is wavelength into frequency so the velocity of light is equal to wavelength into frequency so 
the frequency will be equal to c by lambda and lambda is equal to c by mu respectively so when we put the particular value of lambda in this or the particular value of mu in this then we got this statement which is very important from examination point of view as some sort of questions were asked in which one of the values is given and you have to find different kind of values for example you know very well about the value of c that is a constant you know very well about the value of h which is also constant so if you are given frequency or wavelength then you can easily find energy also so these are some sort of relations which are very important from examination point of view let us revise them once more we know that e is equal to h nu from this particular equation where e is proportional to mu so since e is proportional to nu then to remove that particular proportionality sign we have introduced a constant that is h planck's constant here which has a constant value that is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule per second and we can derive this particular equation from this by substituting nu by c upon lambda which is derived from this equation that is the velocity of light is equal to wavelength into frequency so from these equations we can derive that e that is energy is inversely proportional to lambda and energy is directly proportional to frequency so we can arrange these particular wavelengths uh, sorry these particular electromagnetic spectral waves into the increasing or decreasing order of their wavelength frequency as well as energy and this is asked in many competitive uh, competitive examination several times so i hope that this particular video is going to help you a lot in your examination thank you so much for watching this and if you have liked it then subscribe to my channel thank you so much again